Playing to win. Inside the video game industry continues. This is Dance Dance Revolution, a video game that's part disco, part exercise machine. And there's Brain Age, a personal trainer for your brain with puzzles, memory tests, and math problems. See, it really does require concentration. Blue, yellow, blue, red. Yes, believe it or not, there are video games that are actually good for you. Hard, hard, push, push, everything you've got. Come on, go, you can do it. Push, push, push. You almost did, you there. Yes, yes, excellent, excellent. We're at the University of Maryland for the annual Games for Health Conference, a meeting of minds of game developers and healthcare professionals. You give her sort of an idea. You know, I'm not feeling so great, so she will adjust the workout based on that. Our game is called Care Connections, and it's a CNA training program to help people learn how to care for residents in nursing homes. This is the interactive trauma trainer. We try to make a surgical decision-making training tool, and the patient himself will, you know, do well or not so well, depending on which decisions you make. They're called serious games. Games that educate as well as entertain. It's a genre made famous by America's Army, the video game from the U.S. Army that started as a recruiting tool and became one of the most popular games for PCs, and not just with PFCs. In today's field training, you will learn the basic first aid skills that can save your buddy's life. A mom credited the game with saving her son's life. Her youngest son actually was able to put into practice the basics, uh, ABCs of life saving, uh, to save his older brother when an accident happened in the house. The, uh, project Other conference presenters are equally proud of their work. LucasArts software designer Eric Johnson created some of the Indiana Jones video games. Today, he's here to talk about something else a video game designed for young victims of cancer. This entire project was facilitated, of course, by Make-A-Wish. That was where... Make-A-Wish has a very simple mission. We fulfill the wishes of children with life-threatening illnesses between the ages of two and a half and 18. That's it. Come here, Trevor. Trevor. But Make-A-Wish had Trevor. never gotten a wish quite like eight-year-old Ben Duskin's. Diagnosed with leukemia, Ben had gone through months of chemotherapy and was finally in remission when he made his wish. Ben's wish was to make a video game and send it back into the treatment center for the kids who were still there. All right, good job. Okay, let's go back. I just wanted them to learn what's going through their body and like what the medicine is doing. Every Tuesday we went to LucasArts and we worked for about two hours saying, okay, what should we do here? So he got ideas and I got ideas. Cool. Yep, the voices. But channeling Ben's ideas for a game about cancer wasn't always child's play. Building fun is difficult. And when you try to build fun where the antagonist is cancer, that's almost impossible. I don't think that it could have been done if Ben had not been so uh, mature and articulate. Like like After six months of work, Ben and Eric finally had a game. Ready? Go grab it. The game is about you're a little person on a hoverboard who shoots cancer cells. Players also collect shields to battle monsters. This monster is guarding the barf shield, and his name is Robarf. Ben's way of representing so chemo now. side effects like hair loss and nausea. The yeah, robot is throwing giant green globs of barf that slows you down. The object of his game? Oh, Put the see. cancer in oh, remission. All right, should we... Uh, Yay, see. sword! Yeah, the sword's better. Underlying the game is Ben's optimism. No player ever dies. The reason? You can't give up in cancer. If you just give up, you won't stand a chance. <laughs> that was quick. Maybe you should make it extra hard. Yeah, In 2004, <laughs> Make-A-Wish right, made sure. Ben's game available as a free download on its website. And his wish became a gift to young cancer patients everywhere, including the kids at this treatment center in San Francisco. It's a good game because it's kind of like you're fighting your own cancer cells off. I just don't feel good every time I get knocked down with chemo or 
that stuff and it feels good to blast them away. I feel really, I feel really, really good that actually people are playing it and actually liking it. Yeah, you want some of this? And people around the world are playing it. Ben's game has been downloaded from the Make-A-Wish website over 200,000 times and is now available in nine languages. Coming up, virtual worlds get real and really popular. A lot of people have always wanted to be somebody else. And you can create whoever it is that you want to be there. That's next as playing to win inside the video game industry continues.